Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Crime Country. As always, I am your host, Nick Barksdale, and today we are joined by a phenomenal guest, and that is Dr. Michael Amat, the creator and the mind behind the serial killer database at Radford University. And so, without further ado, Dr. Amat, thank you so much for coming on the show today. Oh, happy to do it. When compared to the rest of the world, in many cases, the USA is made out to be the serial killer capital of the world. But I have to ask, is that actually true or is that more of an exaggeration? You know, the answer to that question is, is pretty complicated, and th that seems to be what I'm going to start almost <laughs> almost every answer with, it seems like. But um, I, I'm not sure that the U.S. actually has a higher per capita rate of serial murder than other countries. But what we know is that we have a very disproportionate rate of known serial killers. And let me kind of elaborate on that just a little bit. So to get in our database, um, so again, as a known serial killer, a person has to first um, have uh, two or more uh, killing events. Okay, Those events have to be discovered. Then those events have to be linked as coming from the same person. The killer has to be identified, and then somewhere that information about the murders and that killer has to be published, whether it's a court report, a newspaper article, or an internet site. And so um, in the U.S., it's just so much easier to get that information than it is with other countries. Um, I only speak English, so for example, when I'm doing research, I'm not going to um, probably uncover very many serial killers that uh, are in uh, countries with different languages. And so, which is why it's important, by the way, for a lot of people from other countries that, or people who have, that are bilingual to maybe kind of join the research, uh, research effort. But most countries just don't have that open communication that we do in the U.S. So, so for example, there's not a newspapers.com um, for, for Europe or, or for, for South America. And so I think that really that the fact that the U.S. numbers are so much higher than, than the other numbers is really more, uh, a matter of it's just easier to get information than there is actual differences in, the, in, in, in crimes. And the reason for that, I think, is if you think about the murder rate, um, the U.S. is right about in the middle of all these other countries in terms of the, uh, the per capita murder rate. And it doesn't make sense to me that we'd be average in murder, but so much higher in serial murder. And that's why I think that even though the numbers look like the U.S. is really disproportionate, I don't think it's in the actual numbers of serial killers. It's just those that we identify. That's a really good point, because I feel like every article <laughs> you read or the little documentaries that you watch, if you look at it, you're like, oh, my God, like the USA is like the the murder nation on the planet. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for joining me on Crime Country as we went over the serial killer database, statistics, and so much more involving the true crime subjects that we are all fascinated and oftentimes terrified by. To all of my subscribers, don't forget to check out the links in the video description below. It'll take you to the database, serial killer statistics, and all of the awesome work that Dr. Amat is doing. Dr. Amat, thank you so much for coming on the show today. Oh, it's my, my pleasure.